Hey Kylie, thanks for coming in today. I know um, you mentioned um, that counseling is kind of a new thing for you and it's kind of embarrassing to admit your problems and it's hard for you to come in. Um, and then you mentioned like one of your problems is you feel the need to shop all the time and that's what's causing you know, um, you to spend less time with your family and friends and, you know, more time out. Um, so, um, just explain, like, what's going on. Okay, well, um, I just really like to shop. Um, it's, like, retail therapy to me. Like, if I've had a stressful day, going out shopping by myself really makes me feel a lot better because um, I don't have to worry about anyone else with me. Um, but I've started to realize from all the shopping that I'm doing, I'm running out of money for like my bills and rent. And it's getting to the point where I'm having to ask my friends and family for some money to help me pay for my rent because I've spent all my money shopping. Right, right. Okay. Well, I mean, how do you feel when you um, when you go shopping? Like, what what's that feeling that you were talking about that you get when you go shopping? Well, it's like enjoyment. And I, it's like, every time I swipe my card or hand over cash, I get just, like, this joy out of it because I just bought something. Um, and I like to, like, try on clothes. It makes me feel good. Shoes and shop for stuff for, like, the house. Um, overall, it's a very, like, pleasing feeling. Um, walking out of a store with bags in my hands. Um, but I'm getting to the point to where I realize that I need to change this habit of mine. Okay. Um, so... What um what are you doing to change now? Like what since you since you you know you know you need to change. What are you doing uh, to change that? Um, well, the first step I did was change how often I go shopping. So instead of going like every other day, I'm just going like twice a week. Um, and I did actually put one of my credit cards up to where I couldn't have access to it. So that's cut shopping down a lot because that had a high limit on. Okay, those are really good steps. Um, uh, so, what are you what are you willing to do now after you know doing those two steps? What are you willing to do in the future? Um, I want to. I'm willing to like cut it down to maybe once a week or whatnot, and I definitely want to pay back the money that I've gotten from other people. Um, but I want to focus more on like my friends and go out with them again, rather than spending money on useless things and. Um, go back to maybe shopping with my mom again and just enjoying that time together instead of by myself. Okay, that sounds great. Um, so what, um, how do you think your, your actions and your thoughts, like your thought process affects your health? Like if you keep going shopping and you don't change, what do you think will happen in the future? Um, well, I'll lose, probably lose my apartment because I'm not able to pay rent and um, that just puts me at a place where I don't have anywhere to live and not um, having enough money to buy food, like groceries, and um, mm -hmm. the cell phone bill, won't have a cell phone. So I think overall it will really affect my health in a negative way rather than help it. Okay. Well, since I've heard you know a lot and I know you want to change and you, you have been taking those steps, um, we're going to evaluate a little bit next time and then... Later, we're going to um, make a plan. Uh, okay. We're going to come up with a plan together and that we can go over and, you know, build on to those steps that you've already taken that are really good steps. And then, you know, hopefully the, the future plan will help you to um, solve your problem entirely. So. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.